Now in question number 42, we are given O as origin and PQR be an arbitrary triangle and the point S is such that it satisfies OP vector dot OQ vector plus OR vector dot OS vector is given equal to OR vector dot OP vector plus OQ vector dot OS vector which is again equal to OQ vector dot OR vector plus OP vector dot OS vector. Now in this question here O is origin let us suppose that the position vector of point P say P vector, position vector of point Q say Q vector, position vector of point R say R vector and finally position vector of point S say S vector with respect to origin. Now if we consider this part of the equation as this is given equal to this from there we can write P dot Q plus R dot S is equal to R dot P plus Q dot S. Now we rearrange terms of this equation if we take these two terms and transfer this to left side we get P dot Q minus R is equals to and we collect these two terms this become Q minus R dot S vector and from this finally we get P vector minus S vector dot Q vector minus R vector equals to 0. It means these two vectors are perpendicular to each other. Similarly, if we consider this part equal this last part of the given equation, similarly we get Q vector minus S vector dot P vector minus R vector equal 0 and finally if we consider this part of the equation equal to this last part of the given equation we can say R vector minus S vector on similarly solving dot we have P vector minus Q vector equal 0. So we get these three relations simultaneously. Now if we make a triangle PQR and with respect to origin the position vector of its vertices are P vector, Q vector and R vector. Now this result suggests that PS is perpendicular to QR, PS is perpendicular to QR and this suggests that QS is perpendicular to PR then these two simultaneously implies that S will be the ortho center of the triangle PQR and finally we know very well all three altitudes of a triangle are concurrent and their point of concurrency is called ortho center of the triangle and from these three simultaneously we conclude that the point S is the ortho center of the arbitrary triangle PQR. Therefore, option B is correct, option B is correct. Question number 43, in this question we have to find equation of the plane passing through the given point 1 comma 1 comma 1 and our required plane is perpendicular to two given planes and the equation of two given planes in the question are 2x plus y minus 2z equal 5 and the equation of other plane is 3x minus 6y minus 2z equal 7. Now as our required plane is perpendicular to these two given plane therefore we can say that the normal vector of our required plane will be parallel to required plane will be parallel to vector given by i cap j cap k cap in the se second row we have normal vector of the first plane and in the last row we have normal vector of the 
second plane. Now, when we find this determinant, which on solving we get minus 14 i cap minus 2 j cap minus 15 k cap. This is the normal vector of our required plane. As we know very well that this is the normal vector of our required plane say n vector and our plane is passing through the given point 1 1 1. So, if point on the plane is known and the normal vector of the plane is given one can easily find the equation of the plane and therefore, the equation of plane will be given by minus 14 times x minus 1 minus 2 times y minus 1 minus 15 times of z minus 1 equal 0 which on solving we get 14 x plus 2 y plus 15 z equal 31 and therefore, option A is correct. Right answer is option A.